What color is that? It's, it's not rose gold, that's all that matters to you, right? This morning, Consumer Reports' army of shoppers went out to get the new iPhone 6S. That's right, we buy them just like you do, and we got eight of them in-house. We got four of the iPhone 6S and four of the 6S Plus, even one in rose gold. In our labs today, we're going to be testing the new 12 megapixel camera. We're also going to be checking out the new upgraded selfie camera and live photo. And we decided to go a step further. Apple claims that the 6S has the most durable glass on any smartphone. Since we have our scratching apparatus right here, we decided to check that out. We're going to perform our scratch test on the 6S. For comparison, we'll also test the iPhone 6. In our still camera test, we analyze photos using precision software to determine how much detail a camera can reproduce. Another way we do that? We strategically organize this table of carefully selected junk to intentionally stress the camera. In our preliminary camera tests, we found that the still camera is only slightly improved over the iPhone 6. There was no noticeable difference in noise, which makes your photos look grainy. Ultra high definition 4K video is brand new to this phone. Our first impression? It's pretty impressive. But we'll be looking at it further and comparing it to other phones with 4K. So what does all this mean for your pictures and video? If you're already using an iPhone 6, you're really not going to see that much improvement. If you're using an earlier model, this is definitely a step up. As for your selfies with the new 5 megapixel front camera, we found an improvement only in the ones we took in low light compared to the 6. That's because of the new retina flash that lights up the whole screen. The front camera also has a wider angle lens than the 6, so you can get more friends into your shot. We also looked at live photo, which records a second and a half of video on each side of a still photo. We wanted to figure out how much space it can take up on your phone. Once we transferred a live photo to a computer, we found it's actually saved as two files, one MOV and one JPEG. In the test pattern photos we took, we found the live photo was three times the size of the still photo alone. But this may vary depending on what you're taking a picture of. Apple claims the cover glass on the 6S is the strongest, most durable glass used in any smartphone. It says the glass is made using a special dual ion exchange process, which makes it stronger at a molecular level. We wanted to see if that meant it was more scratch resistant. For our scratch test, we put the phones under our abrasion tester and used picks calibrated to the Mohs hardness scale, a scientific standard. The harder the pick, the more likely it is to scratch a surface. We started scratching with a pick that's about as hard as glass. We kept going to the next hardest pick in the scale until we saw a noticeable scratch. We found the cover glass on the iPhone 6S isn't any more scratch resistant than the 6. They both scratch with a pick that's about as hard as a masonry drill bit. These are just the initial findings of all the tests we could finish in one day. Other tests we perform take more time, like our battery test that's going on in the radio frequency isolation chamber behind me. For part of that test, we wirelessly connect these phones to a base station emulator, which simulates continuous use. The test runs until the battery drains. We'll also be doing voice quality tests by mounting a phone to this head and torso simulator. We then use a speech analyzer to determine how clear your calls will be. We'll be back to you with our full review as soon as our testing is complete. We'll let you know how this new iPhone stacks up against not only the iPhone 6, but also the other phones at the top of our ratings.